Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. I'm Blake, aka Posh Boss Blake, and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm coming at you with a giant Budweiser Stein haul. For those who may not be aware, Budweiser throughout the years has always done a special Clydesdale Stein, uh, beer, like a beer Stein, for the holidays. I have over two decades worth and I'm excited to share them with you. Some for the holidays, some for other holidays, and some that I've never seen before. So, um, oh yeah, and they're all brand new in box. These recently came into life and I'm excited to share them with you all before we go any further. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more hauls and thrifting things of that nature, as well as giving this video a thumbs up pretty please. Let's get into it because we have a lot of steins to go through. Okay, so first up, let's start with 2007 because it's the first one I grabbed. We have a beautiful uh, box. All of the boxes are super nice and um, for the most part I will not be taking these out uh, because they do have photos of them for the most part on the sides of the boxes. This one doesn't so I'll show it to you but it's this nice gorgeous stein with the horses and the people driving the sled. Of course the Clydesdales on the front. Um, these kind of mugs, or steins rather, excuse me, were very much, uh, in my opinion, very much along the lines of like Hess, you know, the green and white gas company Hess, uh, that would always do the, you know, the Christmas commercials with the, or the holiday commercials with the trucks that you could get and like give to your kids. Um, so that's, you know, in my mind, these were synonymous with the holidays. Uh, this is the Old Town Holiday version from 2003. On the side, you can see we've got a nice Christmas tree going on. Uh, is that a barn? Oh no, it's just a large, um, sled with a beer cases on it. And then of course you have the Clydesdales. Super nice. So that again was 2003. Next up, this is the 25th anniversary edition, special 25th anniversary anniversary logo. Uh, this I believe was 2004. Yeah, 2004. And this is like a substantial handle. Like look at how wide that is. But you got the 25th emblem. Super nice. And the thing I like about these is they're similar but different over the years. Like, um, this might be easier to describe in person, but they're not all like a huge, gigantic mug, I mean, or Stein rather. I guess they are in some circumstances, but you know, the, the handle size has changed, the shape of it changes. For example, this one. This is a 2002 Holiday Stein. And as you can see, the handle is a very different. It's more structured and it's more of like a winter wonderland kind of um, scene, but it's super nice. And we have a lighthouse in the back. So that is nice. This is called Guiding the Way Home. Sometimes I've found that they've themed them other than the holidays, like they give them like a, like Guiding the Way Home. Um, let's go to 2001. This is the 2001 Holiday Stein. Again, a different shape, and the handle is like a pillar, which is really cool. You've got the Clydesdales, and then on this side you have, I think, the White House in the back there. So very Americana. Next up, we have the 2005 Holiday Stein. And this, again, different handle shape, different color tones on the, on the Stein as well. Super nice, super nice. This one doesn't have a theme name. This one I'll have to take out, but this is from 2006, 2006, and this one is super nice. So we've got the Clydesdales. These are more browns instead of reds on this particular one. Browns going into reds, rather. You know, and then you have the people driving the sled. Super nice. Super nice. Um, and every single uh, one comes with like an authenticity card. It's called the Anheuser-Busch Collection. Basically just saying like this is legit, which is cool. Next up is, we have a bunch, I told you, the 20, 20th anniversary edition, a century of tradition. This uh, is a super cool one. Look at the detailing on the handle. Let me see if I can get that up close. The detailing of the handle is stunning. They have images from, you know, 1900. Super cool, super cool. And this particular one is from 1999. They stealthily hide the date in some of these boxes when it's an anniversary edition. Sometimes it's hard to find, not gonna lie. Um, next up is, oh, a duplicate. 
I have a bunch of duplicates, so, you know, I won't go into them further, but that's one of the years I have two of. I have a second 2001. That's exciting. Next is 2008. This is one of the first boxes where they fully boxed the Stein because um, there's no exposed, uh, there's no exposed hole like in the other ones, like a display. So when you, this is the 75th anniversary edition, 1933 to 2008. I think this will probably be 2008, like I said, yeah. On top, we have a paper that says 75 years of tradition with like a little booklet on all the steins. And this one I will take out just to show. This is a very nice, sturdy, in the Budweiser factory, sturdy stein with the 75th anniversary emblem. And it goes into present day, well, when this was happening, present day into the past, which is very cool, very cool. So we'll put that back in the box. And again, it comes with the, all of them come with the authenticity card. They're super nice. And um, the packaging honestly is always thought about with these particular signs, which is nice. Uh, so just putting that back together. So that's, that's that. That's 2008. Next is, let's see, 2010 Holiday Edition. Again, a fully closed box. I'm going to say 2008 is when they started to do that. Um, here is the Stein. We've got, what is this? The sled with a barn in the back. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. 2010, 2010. Um, I find these to be so interesting because they're so, there's just so many and they've done them over and over and over again throughout the years. Okay, so this is another 2010. So another duplicate, so far three duplicates. What's this? This is actually old school. This is, okay, we're gonna go into a different decade. Uh, 1997. Okay, this was the Holiday Stein. And here is what it looks like. This is, you know, quite old, so I don't want to take it out of the box, but it's gorgeous and a fun shape. I like this shape a lot. Kind of reminds me of like a leg on the sled. Like if you were to put it like this, it could be a sled, right? I don't know if that was the intent, but it was also called Home for the Holidays. So that's cool. Home for the holidays. What's this decade? 1998. Super nice. We got a lot of green going on. Here is again a different version style of mug, especially or stein, especially the handle. It's like a brick kind of cobblestone road. Um, not as many Clydesdales on this one. Beautiful house with some snow. I actually love the detailing on that. Love that. Okay. Next is, two, nope, 1996. Wow, and this is a different kind of shape. And we've got all sorts of scenes. It's like a wintry scene. All the detailing, it's beautiful. And this is called American Homestead. So 1996, nice. Okay, that's another bag, done. What else? This one. Ooh, we're going to start to get into some unique uh, designs here in a second. This is... I'm not sure what year this is. I'm going to have to open it up to find it. The date is not hidden anywhere. So uh, this is called At Home Stein, which I think that's the first anything's been called At Home Stein. These were packaged a little differently in the 90s. Are these easy to take out? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me take this one out so you can see it comes in a cardboard box. Oh, wow. This doesn't have a date. 1998? Uh, that might just be a copyright date. I'm not sure, but this is stunning, right? We got a guy in a barn tending to his Clydesdale. Z Love it. Beautiful. Very gorgeous. Very gorgeous Stein. Okay, let's pack that up. I'm not really sure still what date that is. 
maybe 2008, I'm not sure. Or 1998, excuse me. Okay, there's that one. This one is a 1995, wow, kind of like an ugly Christmas sweater vibe. It's all these snowflakes and things. Um, we have a snowy scene with snowflake detailing and the Clydesdales. Okay, simple, nothing crazy, cute. It's called Lighting the Way Home. Okay. Next up is from 1993, we have the Special Delivery Holiday Stein. So here it is, nice mountain scene. Super nice, super nice, okay, beautiful. Next up, okay, this is where we get into the special edition slash not holiday specific. Um, this is a, for a holiday, but different. This is the 1996 St. Patrick's Day, St. Pat's Stein, excuse me, uh, from Budweiser. Super nice. Um, let's see if I can open it. I'm like nervous to open it. Okay, so this has never been opened before. We have a certificate of authenticity right on the top. And then in the stein, or in the box, excuse me. Wow, this is nice. Wow. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this. This is like a shoe, uh, horseshoe style, which is very cool. Very nice, very nice stein. You know, Irish, of course. St. Patrick's Day. Dust. There's just dust on the inside. 1996 horseshoe design. Horseshoe stein. Okay. All right, let's put that back in the box. Get that authenticity card back in there so people know it's legit. And that is the 1996 St. Pat's Day horseshoe design. Next up is... Budweiser Rodeo Stein. Okay, so I have never seen, I've been around this, uh, all these, all my life. I have never seen this. I don't know what year it's from. We're gonna have to open it. But, um, you know, we've got some people at the rodeo, which I did go to rodeos growing up, fun fact. Um, we also did have a horse growing up. So um, I don't think many people know that. But um, let's open this up because I don't know what the shape of this is. It's smaller than the others. Okay. Okay. Simple. <laughs> kind of what the box shows. Just a nice rodeo. He's roping cattle. He's about to jump off the horse. Budweiser. Some stuff going on in the background. And then the handle is nice. Like a braided leather whip or something with the braided edges. Very nice. This is from 1992. Okay. 1992. Wow, super nice. This does not have any sort of authenticity card. Um, I don't think it came with that. So um, that's super nice. That's a super nice Stein. Next is the Clydesdale Hitch Stein. Again, this doesn't have a year, so we'll take it out and look at it. But, um, you know, nothing about the mug too much on the on the box. Let's open this up. Is there an authenticity card with this one? I don't, yes there is, there is, okay. So this is from, it doesn't have a date, but this is called the Clydesdale Hitchstein. I love this handle, this is very cool. Stunning, stunning. I like, excuse me, I like that it's kind of shiny in some instances, but not. I wonder if this has aged over the years. We've, like I said, these have just been in boxes. So um, I like the belt, not the belt, excuse me. Um, like the horses, uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. But what the horses wear, you know, when they're strapped up. I know I had a horse growing up and I can't remember what that's called. The reins, you know, the reins gear. Okay, that's that one, nice. Next up, we have a couple more left. Uh, this is the Clydesdales on Parade mug, Stein. Um, this does have a picture on the box, but we're going to open it up anyway. This is nice. 
this does not have an authenticity card either. Okay, so world famous Clydesdales. This is the most mug-like of, out of all of them that I've felt so far, kind of like with the handle. But that's what that looks like. This is really nice Clydesdales with the people riding the carriage with the cases of beer. Nice. Does that have a year? World famous Clydesdales. Nope. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. What else do we have? Do we have any more in this bag? None. So two more and then duplicates, like a full list of duplicates. So the first one is the Budweiser Bootstein. Okay. Different type of packaging than anything else. I don't know if this was like a special year, new creative designer, but this, as you can tell, is nothing like anything we've seen before. So that is interesting. This, uh, it says that it presents a new country classic and, you know, let's open it up. I've never seen a Bootstein. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is nice actually. So it's like a little boot. <laughs> it's actually really cool. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we have the Budweiser logo. It's like a very nice detailed stein, right? Okay, attention to detail. There's even, you know, cowboy boot detailing. Interesting. This says, Budweiser Bootstein. That's that's all that it says. Interesting. Okay. It does have an authenticity card. So that is cool. We'll pack that up. Interesting. I never... I wonder why they changed the packaging on that. Because, as you can see from the next one, Cowboy Stein Boot Number 2. It's literally Boot Number 2. Um, the packaging is kind of more signature, I guess. Like, they even put the logo on this one, which they didn't before. And it's just a little bit more, I don't know, Budweiser brand to me. Uh, this is, so that was the brown boot. This is the black boot. And this is shiny. The other one wasn't shiny. This is a shiny boot. It's actually sleek and smaller, actually. It's a bit smaller. But, um, you know, Budweiser logo, beautiful handle, same kind of handle. And this says Budweiser Cowboy Boot Stein 2. Super nice and stylish. Comes with an authenticity card. So that's that. And okay. Wow. A lot of um, interesting designs here with all these different types of steins. All right. So next we have... I'm not sure if I showed this. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. We have a 2000 Stein. And if I did show this, I apologize. I don't think I did though. Fun designs on the side. Clydesdales, of course, in the wintry scene. Love it. Okay, 2000. Next up, okay. That is our first, no, that's our fourth duplicate. We have another 2000 Stein. The next duplicate is another 2002 Guiding the Way Home Stein. Our next Stein, 2008 duplicate. We have a 2007 duplicate. And a 2000, nope, a 1998 duplicate. So with that fun stone brick detailing, cobblestone, love it. All right, you guys, so that was a giant haul of Budweiser Steins. This, uh, from a re reselling perspective, is interesting because this is not, <laughs> these are all hard goods. So shipping this is actually kind of challenging. Um, I would love to put up this entire collection into one listing, but the reality of that when it comes to reselling is packaging, shipping, that really doesn't make sense. All of these kind of need to be wrapped individually and, you know, who knows, like, if this one from ages ago even exists in the world. So we want to make sure that they get there in one place. Um, I think what we're going to do is try to list these, we as in me, try to list these locally to see if someone wants to, 
I don't know, pick some years out and take them. Uh, some other thoughts we have, doing it locally, Facebook Marketplace. Also, uh, we might do a yard garage sale. Our community does one and that is coming up in a, about a month-ish. So, you know, we'll see what sells over the next couple weeks. And if not, we'll just put them out to be taken at the sale. Um, I would probably also, with the duplicates, maybe try to list those on Poshmark or, you know, like an eBay or something. But again, the reality is each of these has to be shipped kind of uniquely and in full transparency, I do focus on shipping clothing. That's 99.9% .9 of my reselling business. So I don't have the packaging to be able to pack all this stuff up. So I have to be strategic and figure out how to get some additional packaging. Um, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know I am a stickler for sustainability and recycling packaging. That said, who knows, um, between the Amazon things that we get and just miscellaneous packages. Um, I know I won't get enough to be able to ship each of these out individually. So we'll have to, we'll have to be creative and again, utilize the local kind of selling platforms at first. And then, you know, we'll see where things go. But if anything is of interest to anyone, feel free to uh, follow my Instagram and shoot me a message there if you're interested. If you have any questions about the Steins, you know, holler and I hope I can help in some kind of way. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We have a lot of signs to go through and I appreciate your time. So appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.